Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you're having a beautiful night. As I record this podcast, I am right in the process of exporting to other videos I am creating. By the way, for those of you who may be new to my channel, I have recently established a new posting schedule. So I am going to be posting three videos daily, Monday through Friday. Most likely on most days, one of these will be some form of tarot reading or energy reading video. The second video will be a twin flame informational video, a podcast of some kind. And the third video is kind of a toss up. I'm going to use this space in the third video to explore different spirituality and esoteric concepts. Sometimes I may speak on the law of attraction or really anything else I feel guided to talk about that I feel might be helpful to your path either as a twin flame because I know many of you are twin flames listening to this podcast or really just as a spiritually awakened being. But today for that third video, I am actually going to be doing something a little bit different. A video I wasn't expecting to record tonight, but I felt strongly guided in this direction because of personal experience. And what I mean by that is I had already recorded my other two videos and really all of a sudden out of nowhere, a situation triggered these really deep and heavy feelings within me. I felt this huge emotional release, a kind of release that I haven't felt during past full moons this year, which leads me to believe that this full moon upcoming in just a few days on March 28th is going to be especially powerful, maybe even especially for those of you who are twin flames listening. And the reason for this I actually researched this after I felt this huge emotional kind of dredging up, dredging up of very deeply seated emotions that needed to be addressed and healed through. I actually discovered that this full moon in Libra is actually because of the alignment of the planets at the time of this full moon. Again, I am not a professional astrologer by any means, just sharing some of what I personally researched. You can share your own thoughts also in the comments. But from what I understand, this full moon is actually because of the way the energies and the planets are aligning at this time, it will really cause us to become more sensitive within our love and relationships, really bringing to the surface any potential issues that are in need of healing. And I found that that really perfectly described what I was experiencing. It was like this, this dredging up of emotions and then this emotional release, but for the purpose of healing. And honestly, a part of me didn't even want to share that because Sometimes it's hard to be fully vulnerable, especially when I know so many of you are listening. But the reason I want to share that with you is because I want you to know that you aren't alone on this journey, that whatever you're experiencing, especially those of you who are energetically sensitive, is valid and is deserving of being seen and being heard and being healed. So I wanted to do this kind of emergency full moon reading, especially with the twin flame collective in mind, considering that this full moon will bring to the surface many deeply seated relationship kind of issues, issues regarding love and romance and intimacy. Now, I know that I'm kind of doing a double reading today because I already have created a twin flame pick a card reading today. But that reading was mostly targeted at this other person's energy, what they are thinking and feeling and going through. This reading is really going to be targeted to you, you the listener. What could you potentially be feeling, be sensing, be working through, picking up on? However, do remember this is a collective reading. 
So although I do try to channel as many different specific messages as come through, it is very likely that many of these messages won't resonate with you and may just be intended for someone else. So just take whatever your intuition is leading you toward, whatever feels meant for you. Also, I would like to say prior to starting this reading that I've recently created a full moon clearing subliminal. Now this subliminal meditation is specifically designed to help you to cope with and process these powerful and intense full moon energies because we are collectively on the planet, we are really affected by this, the moon cycles, especially those of us who are energetically sensitive. And I find that even when I'm unaware of a certain upcoming moon cycle, because I don't always keep close track of them, sometimes like today, all of these emotions will just seem to hit me out of the blue around the time of a full moon. So I will definitely be listening to and meditating with this subliminal myself just to assist me in grounding myself, clearing my energy, and processing the intense energies at this time. So those of you who are members on my subliminal site, I will leave a link to this full moon clearing subliminal below under the description box and in the pinned comment. For those of you who aren't members, you can sign up for a 7-day free trial on my website Sound and Soulful to access all the subliminals I create and recommend through these videos. So without further ado, just don't mind me putting down my clear quartz because I've definitely felt the need to energetically clear myself. Some of you, by the way, might be drawn to clear quartz, especially around the time of a full moon. Of course, I have to start today with the Moonology deck, which I don't normally start with because you guys know I love the Energy Oracle cards, but it's only fitting since it's a full moon. So go ahead while I'm shuffling, and if you feel guided, set some kind of intention for this reading, wherever you are, whenever you are listening to this. What kinds of messages do you need to hear around the time of this full moon? Okay, three cards were kind of pulling me there. Okay, the first card is adjustments are required. The third quarter moon. Obviously in this moonology deck, the energy oracle cards usually don't give super specific messages. This is just us broadly reading into the collective energy, especially the energy of twin flames. But I do feel this is indicating to us that at this time or within the next few days, you can really expect that certain things are going to come up that are going to require you to take some kind of change in direction. I just saw a captain like steering his ship because of a storm and I feel like you're going to have to or you may already feel as though you're steering yourself through some kind of emotional storm or emotional upheaval and you're going to have to be sensitive, self-aware enough to make these kinds of adjustments, whether these are adjustments in your communication or in your life in your routine, building in more self-care, I feel you're going to have to switch something up in order to navigate these emotions that are arising within the next few days. The second, of course, this, I have to say this, just looking at this card instantly sent just a wave of healing energy through me because this card says a time for healing, which is just indicating that although you are going to have to be aware of these emotional shifts, there may even be some kind of emotional storm you have to navigate around the time of this full moon. This is also a time for these emotions to be brought up for the purpose of healing. Oftentimes, especially if as children, our feelings and emotions aren't fully validated or we are even guilted for feeling negative emotions, told to stuff them down, we then turn into or grow up into adults who self-judge our negative emotions instead of getting curious about the potential roots of those negative emotions and allowing ourselves to heal from the root rather than addressing the leaves, you know what I'm saying, in this kind of metaphor. And the third card is, nothing is set in stone. 
It's kind of interesting that this card also looks like it has an ocean on it, and I just got that image of a captain steering his ship. So I don't know if some of you are feeling particularly drawn to water to help you cleanse your energy. Water can actually be one of the most simple and effective energy clearing tools, even something as simple as taking a hot bath or even sometimes if you're out in public and you're around a lot of energy, even sometimes when you wash your hands, it can help you to energetically kind of cleanse yourself from negative energies. So maybe some of you are feeling drawn to water or I'm hearing if you live near a large body of water, like an ocean or a lake, you might find it beneficial to spend some time around water, especially running, flowing water or waves like an ocean to just help you to clear your mind, clear your energy, or at the very least get out into nature just to find a way to kind of ground yourself, to kind of clear your energy field in these chaotic and intense energetic environments we could be experiencing around this full moon. I also feel like this nothing is set in stone card is kind of meant to say I almost heard nothing will come of this negative situation. I feel like for many of you at this time, the ego may be jumping ahead, drawing some kind of conclusion, and I'm not trying to discredit what you are feeling, even if it is from the ego, because I feel that for many of you, these assumptions, these conclusions your ego is drawing are self-protection mechanisms. Because I feel that for many of you, you were raised in chaotic environments or you experienced a lot of pain very young. I, at the beginning of this reading, I lit a candle and the candle when I first lit it burned very, very slow. It was very small. And I feel like many of you in some way, for some reason, were either taught to keep yourself small or kept yourself small out of fear. But I have to tell you that flame within just a few seconds of burning just burst into the biggest flame I've ever seen. It was bold. It was like flying out of the candle holding thing. And I felt that that I just instantly intuitively knew that would connect with someone like you are that flame that may have been burning small, keeping yourself small, not trying to draw attention at first, but then finally burning brighter, stepping into your own, not being afraid to be bold, to show your light. So I feel like you're being told that you don't have to be afraid. You can release this fear. This situation is safe. This person is safe. Nothing negative is going to come even though your ego is jumping to all these conclusions. And finally, the fourth card, so many cards came out with that Moonology deck. But the fourth card is your commitment is being tested. And I instantly heard that you, this is your commitment not so much to a specific person, but to your own healing. Which, of course, if you are a twin flame, your commitment to your own healing, growth, and expansion is naturally also simultaneously a commitment to deepening and healing this connection because this is a directly mirrored connection. So the more that you choose to commit to your own healing, the more that you choose to commit to the expansion of this connection. That was a really, really beautiful four cards that came out there. I feel like that's a good place to begin this reading, but I now want to pull from my Energy Oracle Cards deck. So again, since we are pulling several new cards here, you may find it beneficial to set some kind of a new intention. I'm going to shuffle these cards really good because I do feel a little bit scattered just because of the huge emotional release that I just experienced. And I'm also feeling some scattered energy coming through the collective. Maybe some of you are watching this late at night and feeling alone or feeling anxious or something like that. So let's all just take a deep breath here together and set some kind of clear intention for what messages we need right now. So Spirit, what does the Twin Flame Collective especially anyone listening to this video need to know about this time, especially in connection to the full moon. Okay, so I pulled four cards and I kind of set it up so I could pull more, but I felt really guided to just pause here and go ahead and see what we have with these cards. So the first card I pulled for you is Blossoming Abundance. 
in the upright position. I just heard that there's something beautiful right before your eyes, but there is something that's closing you off from fully enjoying this beauty. I feel like you're in the middle of this beautiful metaphoric garden, but having trouble allowing yourself to enjoy the moment, to enjoy this, this beauty, this whatever it is, connection, these blessings around you. Again, because I feel that something is causing you to feel these arising emotions. This fear is kind of rising up through the ego. The second card is woman holding a coin in the upright position. Very interesting. I'm going to actually read a little bit from the guidebook about this card to give us a little more insight about what might be going on here. Female connection and money, health, or value. The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair, holding a bright gold coin. When the card comes upright in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances and health. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. I feel like this actually, regardless of your gender, regardless of whether you are also a divine masculine or divine feminine, I feel like this speaks to coming into your own. I feel like you're being asked to look back and to appreciate how far you've come, even though there is so much that could be arising right now, maybe even negative thoughts and feelings arising for the purpose of healing. But I feel like you're being told that it is safe to simply appreciate where you are, this blossoming abundance, this beautiful metaphorical garden around you, to enjoy and take in the moment, to also appreciate how far you've come, whether this is in personal successes in your life or in connection to this person and how far you've come with this person. I feel like you're being asked, whenever you look at the past, if you do look back, to only glean the positives from the past, to never dwell on your mistakes or regrets, your perceived mistakes. Because nothing negative is going to manifest from those past negatives, those past regrets, those past mistakes. The ego likes to just roll these things over and over in our minds to beat ourselves up for some kind of mistake, something we said, something we did that we regret. But I feel like you're being told to release any negatives from the past and fixate only on the positives. The third card is the Angel of Strength. And this is a really beautiful card because I feel like it signals to you that you are not only being given strength, by the divine forces guiding your life, whether you connect to these as the universe, as God, as the angels, you're being given strength because you are on your right path. However, this is also indicating to you that you are stronger than you see yourself to be. I feel like many of you look in the mirror and you're self-critical because you are very fixated on self-improvement and always trying to be better which is of course not a negative thing in and of itself but the shadow side of that quality of that trait of constant self-improvement and growth is sometimes you don't take the time to appreciate how far you've come to appreciate everything you've created around you and also to see yourself for as strong as you truly are You're being told that you truly are capable of healing through and releasing anything that may be coming up tonight while you're listening or at any point in the next few days or in the future. You are capable of working through, of healing through all of this, just like you've healed through everything in the past. And finally, the last card is the thinking woman in the upright position. I'm going to read a little bit about this card to see if we can channel any messages from the guidebook. This card shows a woman holding a book standing before a staircase ready to lead you to higher understanding. Interesting, I almost feel like this is spirit saying that you are ready to experience manifested success and change in your life whatever that success means to you whether this is some kind of shift or change within your connection perhaps your connection to your twin flame or whether this is stepping into your own personal power in some other type of way i feel like 
for I just heard someone for a long time asking for something over and over and over again, asking for it and asking for it and asking for it and not yet receiving it. It always felt like the answer was not yet, not yet. And now all of a sudden, you're actually starting to doubt a little bit whether you're ready or prepared to receive this thing you've always wanted for so long. But now at this time, you're finally being told now you are ready now this thing is coming in so whether this is some kind of manifested change or shift again with your person in a love connection or for some of you this could be something much more materially based like some kind of financial or business or career success but you're being told that you are ready you now have the strength to step forward and claim these beautiful blessings you've been manifesting but it does require you to have gratitude to see your own strength and to release any negatives from the past. I am just going to pull a few potential clarification cards from our Angel Answers deck. Okay, so once again, I'm going to set an intention aloud. So Spirit, what does the Twin Flame Collective need to know about the energies right now and within the next few days? Okay, so three cards kind of just fell out there. Let's see what we've got. The first card I pulled was the situation will improve. I feel like many of you listening, I just keep sensing this kind of despair or hopelessness. So maybe just right now listening, if you're alone at night, maybe you're feeling some of this hopelessness. I feel like someone feels stuck in some kind of a dark hole or a dark tunnel right now and you need to know that part of this simply is because of these collective full moon energies but you're also being told that whatever negative emotions you're processing that are coming up, whatever is happening that's causing you to feel a bit of hopelessness, you do need to know that this won't last forever, that this is here for you to experience for the purpose of healing through it but also that it will be it won't be a forever experience it won't be a permanent emotional or physical experience whatever is causing you this kind of pain or discomfort or causing these negative feelings to arise will dissipate it will dissipate and the second card was just no so i feel like this is in response to some of your egos i feel like some one out there listening has their ego saying Okay, just I specifically heard like it's just all these I heard a lot of fear based but kind of love related questions coming through things like is he or she lying to me? Is he or she cheating on me? Does he or she hate me? Again, this will apply really differently depending on your situation. I know some of you are separated from your person and others of you are in reunion with them and just everything in between so i feel like this is directed at anyone who may have set an intention to ask a specific question from the ego but in a negative like are they going to leave me do they not care about me something like that and spirit is telling you no your intuition knows that that's not true that's just a question coming from the fear of your ego and the next card was ask your angels which I feel is just asking you to release your cares, worries, and anxieties by having faith that there is some kind of divine force or guidance happening in your life to direct you onto the path you are meant to take, whether within a love connection, a twin flame connection, or just in your life generally. I feel like the key to releasing whatever is coming up for you right now is to let it go by having trust that you are divinely guided. So I don't know if I've actually pulled any cards from here before, maybe once before, but just because we're talking about a full moon reading, it only seems right to do a few cards from the Starry Beginnings Oracle deck. I think I did pull cards from these one time before maybe. So Spirit, what does the Twin Flame Collective Whoa, okay. One card. Life is an expression of you. Life is more than existing. I feel like this again is just speaking to those divine forces guiding your life. I feel like this is in response to someone either saying in their intention for this reading or just feeling in their heart and soul, is this all there is? And you're being told there are no limits. No, of course, this is never all there is. 
anything you can imagine you can manifest in your life you are just that powerful and just that worthy wow okay i just felt this in my heart chakra the next card that came out is you are healing your heart wow the heart hurts but it will mend in time this really just connects with everything i've been saying i feel like so many of you are processing a lot of emotions through the heart center right now a lot of heavy dark emotions i just heard that for some of you the emotions you're feeling are so intense you feel like you're almost reliving some kind of past hurt and trauma and for some of you i feel like it causes you to feel hopeless because you feel like have i or have we if you're talking about you and another person made no progress at all and again let's go back to that angel answers card that said no that's just another question from the ego of course you and this person or you internally within yourself have made so so much progress you can see that just looking back on your life it's just the ego that likes to make up these stories to make us disbelieve or deceive us into believing that we've just been running in circles this whole time and the next card is trust what you need is there with love all can be accomplished so once again that connects directly to the ask your angels card just reminding us here that you can turn your cares worries and anxieties over to some kind of higher power to whatever divine forces you connect with that it is safe to trust this person within this connection to release those ego-based fears and anxieties about this situation so now i am just going to pull some potential sign cards and roll some letter initials that may connect with this reading okay so let's start with the sign cards today so spirit what are some potential sun moon or rising signs of those who are listening or their person libra which is fitting because this is a full moon in libra Pisces, which came out a lot during my Twin Flame Pick a Card reading also. Taurus. Sagittarius. Cancer. So Pisces, Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising could be your sign or the person you have in mind. Or again, with these specific messages, it could just be intended for someone else. So now I'm rolling the letter initial dice. Z, Q, V, V again, so they could have double letters in their name. N. L, E, I, T, E, E again, wow, double letters again. I feel like for some reason I heard leave. I feel like someone might be afraid that someone else is either is going to leave, like there's some kind of abandonment issue that could be arising for some of you, but I also heard the word light. So I feel like someone could, again, this is reflecting that kind of hopelessness. Someone's looking for a light at the end of the tunnel. Some kind of, I, I just heard, give me a reason to stay. Wow, like someone, someone is desperately wanting to give more to this connection or desperately wanting to stay but feeling like they need some kind of material offer given to them or some kind of emotional or material stability within this connection in order to be able to stay a very emotional message r a h w d so those are the letter initials if those words didn't resonate then those also could potentially be the letters in the first, middle, or last name of you or your person. So the last thing I'm going to do is actually pull some Lover's Oracle cards. I haven't pulled these in a while, but I'm just feeling really guided to them right now. Okay, so Spirit, what does the Twin Flame Collective need to hear from their person at the time of this full moon in Libra? What kinds of messages? Do twin flames listening to this video need to hear at this time? Okay, so the card that first came out is Soulmate, which in this deck I take to mean 
could also be referring to the highest level soulmates that of course we refer to as a twin flame. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. I feel like this is just reminding you that everything begins in energy. That your work is this healing work, is healing, processing, shifting these negative emotions and these healing triggers as they occur and as they surface. And that as you, I just heard, open the space in your heart for this person and they will come in. I feel like, and this might just be one person listening here, but I feel like I'm getting a very specific message for someone that they have become very guarded, really closed off their heart chakra to being open to love with this person and yet they desperately want this offer of stability, of emotional and material stability. I just heard a proposal, so some of you might think about, you know, having some kind of, it's like the metaphor of wearing a ring on your finger, like you want people to know about this connection, you want this to be solid, you want it to be like you want it to be known whether it's like being you know official on social media being seen together hearing them say something to you that causes you to feel this stability someone is seeking a kind of stability they're not getting but what you're actually being told is seek that stability first within yourself and your person your divine counterpart will reflect that stability you desire back to you but you have to leave that space in your heart open to them first and i always say this but for twin flames specifically all twin flame psychic communication doesn't occur through the mind it actually occurs through the heart through the heart chakra this is why twin flames when they are very closed off in the heart chakra to one another can have these really intense, seemingly low points in their relationship where they're even arguing, yelling. It can be really intense for twin flames when they're very closed off to each other. This is why people talk about twin flames running and chasing. When one or both are really closed in the heart chakra, the communication between twin flames can get really, really muddied. That is why I really recommend focusing on a comprehensive approach to clearing the chakras but specifically fi focusing especially for twin flames on clearing the heart chakra so i do have a twin flame heart chakra activation subliminal one that i specifically use whenever i find that the communication with my twin flame which we are in reunion but the healing and expansion process never ends i am still healing learning growing and expanding within this connection so whenever i feel like we are becoming blocked in some way. Our communication isn't, isn't being clear between us. I like to listen to this and meditate to this, and I find that it really opens that channel of communication back up again because it does contain binaural beat frequencies that resonate with the heart chakra as well as unconscious affirmations specifically targeted to just clearing out any negative energies that block twin flame heart chakra connection and communication. So the link to that heart chakra activation subliminal will be in the pinned comment and in the description box. So I'm going to try to pull just one more potential message for the Twin Flame Collective from these Lover's Oracle cards. So Spirit, what does the Twin Flame Collective need to know right now? Wow, okay, so of course, one card that just came out was Twin Flames. So I feel this card was for anyone who's beginning to doubt the validity of this connection because maybe these negative emotions or feelings that are surfacing at the time of this full moon cause you to even begin to doubt your entire connection altogether, begin to make you wonder if this was truly a twin flame or divine counterpart situation or connection, why would this be happening? So I feel like if you came asking, is this person my twin flame? This is your confirmation, yes. And the next card is surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. What a perfect way to end this reading. I feel I can't say it better myself. That message really just sums up everything we've been speaking on. That there is so much hurt and pain that could be surfacing at this time, could be triggered, 
could be causing a kind of sensitivity, some kind of a reaction to happen within you or within your connection. But this is really just signaling that it is time to surrender the past and specifically any negative emotional attachments we have to certain events from our past. So I really hope that this reading was helpful for you, brought you some kind of insight, energetic support, or clarity at this time. If I did resonate with you, please do subscribe, join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself. And to access the subliminals I recommended during this reading, you can do so by clicking the links in the pinned comment or in the description box under this video. Thank you so much for sharing this time and space with me here today. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again in the next reading.